Hi, I'm Kathy Leaders, and I have the really cool job of being the head of NASA's human space flight. In 2020, we asked students across the country to compete in our Artemis Moon Pod essay contest. We asked students from grades K through 12 a similar question. How would you design a mission to the moon? I have to tell you, those essays we got back are truly inspiring. Today, you get to hear from the finalists. Thank you to the teachers who organized this activity in your classroom, and all of the brilliant students who wrote an essay, and for sharing your lunar exploration dreams with us. We are doing everything we can to make them come true. Greetings from the Artemis Base Camp. This is the commander reporting on our first day along with my strong, determined, well-trained, curious, and optimistic team of four members. My crew is going to have astronauts who are doctors, mechanics, and scientists. Each astronaut is a team player who is calm and can make good decisions. An expedition to the moon soft pole, the BES team. The best team consists of Barbara, Elizabeth, Steve, and Tom. This mission will put to test our field leading abilities and years of bonded friendship to establish a permanent research facility on the moon's south pole powered by Krusty. My top priority would be analyzing the water deposits of the permanently shadowed craters. Water is essential for drinking, fuel, cooling machinery, and growing plants, making it the most important commodity on our moon. A system of solar panels can be set up around a crater that receives constant sunlight to power both a Brickobot and a brick-baking solar oven. Thus, an observatory could probe deep space without light interference from the Earth. Since the moon has no atmosphere to diffuse it, the light from the sun would have little effect on stargazing. Using our comprehensive and diverse skill set, we will provide a practical tool that will change lunar exploration forever. Embarking on this incredible adventure, I couldn't help but be grateful to be given this opportunity to lead the most remarkable crew and to know I was a part of the Artemis generation. Hello, I'm astronaut Randy Bresnik, and I just wanted to say great job to all the essay contest finalists. It is truly inspiring to hear young people thinking about the future of space exploration. All of us at NASA were once kids just like you. Imagine what it would be like to go into space, to walk in space, to walk on the moon, or build the next generation of great spacecraft, which is what we're doing right now. Big dreams like those aren't easy to achieve. It takes teams across the country and around the world working together to make it all possible. We're counting on all of you to dream big and join us in continuing being creative, working hard, and keep working together. This is an amazingly exciting time for the Artemis program. For you, for me, for all of us in the Artemis generation, this is our time. So, if you want to be part of the Artemis mission, head to stem.nasa.gov slash Artemis to participate in an Artemis student challenge and follow at NASA Artemis on social media for the latest updates. Go Artemis. <laughs>